Hey, you guys, if you like my channel, please subscribe. I keep forgetting to say it. Oh, my favorite. Yay. What do the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 11 reunion dresses mean? Forget whether you like them or not. What do they mean? Because that's the juicy part. So let's start with Dorit Kemsley. I'm going to show you a quick picture of it, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, so Dorit obviously had Nectaria, who did her wedding dresses, design her dress for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion, which was definitely planned in order to reinforce the sales of her wedding dresses. And that dress absolutely had to have come from the, the person who did um, her, you know, is manufacturing her wedding dresses or co-designing them with her. So I think it may even be a wedding dress, honestly. Like, I bet you will see that on their website, there's a dress like it that, that she'll sell, either, you know, to wear as an evening gown or maybe even as a wedding dress, because obviously that dress could be either. So that was a total PK promotional play, maximize our, you know, wedding dress partnership <laughs> dress. So that's what that dress meant. Okay, here's Lisa Rinna's dress. So Lisa Rinna's dress, I believe, means that, first of all, she wants to send a message that her dress is custom designed for her. So some designer wanted her to wear their dress and wanted to make it for her. You know, subliminal messaging, like maybe some of the bigger uh, couture brands might want to hire her for a sponsorship deal. And you can tell that from the boots because the boots are, are obviously made with the dress. So whoever did it, did it as a combined thing and did it intentionally to show that it's very custom. I also thought that the shape of the dress was sort of uh, restrained. It's still showing off her physique, which she loves to show off because she knows the fans respect it. But the high turtleneck, I think that's saying like, don't expect a lot from me in this reunion. I'm going to be sort of more reserved this time. I think she's going to take a back seat on this. Sutton's one. blue, like playful dress, which I'll show you um, now. Okay, so Sutton's dress is basically saying, look, I know that it's been a serious season and although it's been a serious season i'm still like happy-go-lucky me i'm not gonna let this impact me and more importantly look at my clearly identifiable rings and earrings which i will be selling at my store and i want to make a fashion uh forward really unique choices in my accessories because i think i'm gonna sell them and I think she wants people to look and be like, oh, I know those earrings. Like, you'll never forget those earrings. So that's why she made that choice. So she picked a dress that she could sort of accessorize rather than the generic diamonds, right? That you wouldn't buy in her store. It's a 1980s filter. <laughs> this reminds me of Kyle's so dress. So Kyle's dress basically says, look, guys, I just had a ton of plastic surgery on my face and maybe elsewhere. And I want to wear a dress that is going to really rock and show how in shape and awesome I look after all of this stuff's done. Like, it, I want this to not really be about the dress. I want this to be about showing off my body and showing you how hot I've become, you know, 11 years in. And I really think that's the whole point of her dress. And although I really like the 1980s look. I think this has gone a little too far with the cutouts, okay? We need to rein that back in, everybody who's designing 1980s shout out clothing. No more cutouts, okay? <laughs> it didn't work then and it ain't working now. So Erica's dress is designed to be a shout out to Marilyn Monroe. That's really obvious to me. Um, and I believe that the subliminal messaging she's trying to do with that is she's trying to make us feel like, you know how Marilyn Monroe is sort of like, she was a victim of her, you know, time and her circumstances and, 
you know, although she was a starlet, she was always sort of helpless in it all. And all these really powerful men took advantage of her. And, you know, JFK and Bobby Kennedy and, you know, all of these men were so much, you know, they were so manipulative and they ruined her. And I think she's trying to draw a parallel between herself and Marilyn Monroe with Tom Girardi as the powerful guy that like ruined her and, you know, she was the victim of, in a sense. That's what I think she's going for. Subliminal messaging. Is it working? Okay, what does Crystal Minkoff stress mean? All right, so Crystal Minkoff stress is basically her saying, listen, you guys, I am not going to abandon, now that I'm super famous, maybe even more famous than my director husband who did Lion King, I am not going to let this fame go to my head and I'm going to stay true to my very sort of sophisticated, slightly boring style and I'm not going to abandon my identity in this whole, you know, process of being on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And her jewelry selection says, I'm understated and I'm super rich, but I don't scream it loudly. You know, I'm the real deal, in other words. That's why she's wearing like a big diamond, but it's like a diamond, you know, a nondescript, you know, elegant whatever, but she still has a $100,000 Birkin bag sitting on the counter, so I'm not buying it totally. Garcelle's dress, this. I believe that Garcelle chose the dress she chose because it's old Hollywood. It's glamorous, it's also not showing any cleavage, like it still has that kind of, I'm on my, I have another show that I'm conscious of as I'm wearing this dress, but I'm glamorous and nothing's gonna prevent me from tapping that. But it's kind of got an old Hollywood vibe, which leads me to believe that she wants you guys to associate you know, her with that. Um, that old, here to stay, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I've been in Hollywood for 30 years and I'm, a, you know, in every way, shape or form. And, you know, whether I'm on the show or not, I'm here to stay kind of thing. So here's Kathy's dress. Meaning of Kathy's dress is I care about this reunion, but I don't care. So I'm going to sort of, I'm gonna dress up, but not with any like real gumption of concern. I could be on here, I could be not on here, I, it doesn't matter to me. And that I don't, I'm not trying to make any impact with my clothing on you guys. Like this, I go out like this every Friday to a luncheon. Garcelle's dress wins it for me. She really grabbed it. It's special. It's worth talking about. It's sexy, but not too sexy. It, you know, it, it looks great on her. I mean, and it's so glamorous and it is Beverly Hills. And so she wins, in my opinion. And I also really respect what's coming across in the dress that she's here to stay, regardless of the show. And I thought that was really, really great and very clever. And it's also very respectful to her other position on her you know, talk show. So that's my winner. And if I could wear any dress, it would have been Garcelle's dress. Eee, I wish I could wear it. <laughs>